Hello, we are starting chapter four today. So 4.1 notes, angles in triangles. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and take a second and do the exploration, I'll give you a second to pause the video, go try the exploration and then come back and we'll take a look at the notes. All right, so triangle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C should give us 180 degrees. All right, go ahead and take a second now, pause the video and check out the animation of the triangle sum theorem. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at example one. So we have these three angles. I don't know what X is, but I do know that if I add all three of those together, I should get 180 degrees. So 46 plus X plus 93 should give me 180 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract my 46 and 93 from both sides right here. Let's, let's go ahead and add them together first. So, so 139 plus X equals 180. Then if I subtract 139 from both sides, I get X equals 41. So I know that X is 41. All right, two, three, and four are all you try. So go ahead and give those a shot. See what you come up with. I'll give you a second to pause the video. All right, so here are those three. So the biggest thing to remember is this block here means 90 degrees. So if you got stuck there, that's 90 degrees. And then over here in number four, I have these two angles with it's like a little curve with a line through it. That means they're the same. So if one angle is 62, that means this angle is also 62 degrees. So I was able to use that to solve for Y. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next page. So let's take a look at five. So we st we're still wanna do the same process. Even though we have two angles with X in it, I can still solve. I'm still gonna add everything together and it is still going to equal 180. All right, so I'll go ahead and combine these. So 60 plus 6X equals 180. Subtract 60 from both sides and get 120. And then divide by 6, X equals 20. Yeah? All right, let's take a look at 6. All right, so we have this the square thing here again, that does mean 90 degrees. So, scoot over, have some room. I'm gonna take all these angles, add them together. And it equals 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and combine my like terms. We have those two and then these three. So I have six X plus 108 equals 180. Go ahead and, and subtract 108 from both sides. I get 6x equals 72. And then divide by 6. x equals 12. All right, so it doesn't matter how many variables are in there, we can still solve, or of the same variable, at least we can still solve for that said variable because we know it equals 180 degrees. All right, I want you to go ahead and try number seven. I'll give you a couple seconds to pause the video and try it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what I got here. So number seven, I ended up with X equals 14. So eight, it says find the measure of angle C in the triangle from number seven. So I'm gonna take a look at angle C. So two X minus six, I know X is 14. So I can do two times 14, because I plugged 14 in for x, minus six. Solve for that. I ended up with 22. So all I have to do is plug that into my calculator. Two times 14, subtract six. We get 22 for eight. All right, let's take a look at some new, some new vocabulary. So we have, um, we have this little extra line here outside of our triangle. So this is called the exterior angle. So that's this whole angle there exterior angle. And then we have two remote interior angles. 
they aren't necessarily equal to one another, but those are our remote interior angles, and then we have our exterior angle. Okay, let's learn a little bit more about those. So go ahead and try this uh, exploration. I'll give you a second to pause the video. Try it out. All right. So let's take a look at the exterior angle theorem. So the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior, interior angles. So that means angle B plus angle A is equal to angle 1. All right, so why is this true? So if we think about, keep that image, um, these two angles here, right here and right there, those form a linear pair. So we have a linear pair, right? So angle C, it's a couple different angles. So we have, I'm going to label this one angle, let's name it angle 2. So I know that we have a linear pair with angle 2 and angle 1. And so those equal, if we add those together, remember linear pairs are supplementary. So they equal 180 degrees. So if we think about subtracting angle two, so let's give these some measurements. So let's say angle two is 80 degrees, just make it easy. So angle two is 80 plus angle one equals 180. So let's go ahead and subtract 80 from both sides. Angle 1 equals 100 degrees. All right, so I know that angle 1 is now 100, 100 degrees. So angle 1, 100 degrees. Okay, so now let's pay attention to just the triangle. So this triangle here. I'm not going to worry about the exterior angle at the moment. We have angle A and angle B. So I know that angle A plus angle B needs to equal, oh, sorry, angle A plus angle B plus angle 2, so I renamed that since C was kind of broad, equals 180. Angle A plus angle B. Angle 2 is 80 degrees, so I'll go ahead and plug in 80 there. And if I subtract 80, I now have angle A plus angle B equals 100 degrees. So now we can see that angle A plus angle B equals 100, and if angle 1 equals 100, then therefore angle A plus angle B equals angle 1. Okay, let's go ahead and try a couple examples. So we want to find the measure of angle 1, so that means I'm going to take my two um, remote interior, 62 plus 34 equals angle 1. So I can go ahead and combine those, get 96 equals angle 1. All right, go ahead and take a second and try B. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I ended up with angle 1 equals 81 degrees. All right, let's try a couple more examples left. There's one you try left and one for me to try. So I'll do A and then I'll let you guys try B. So 28 plus 4x equals 100. All right, so I still add them and they equal the outside um, exterior angle. So I'll go ahead and subtract my 28, divide by 4, x equals 18. So even though we have that variable, we're still going to add them together and it equals the exterior angle. All right, go ahead, pause the video and try B. All right, here is the solution for B. And that is the end of the 4.1 note. So if you need to, go ahead, rewatch as much of this video as you'd like. Uh, make sure you're asking your teacher if you have any further questions. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day.